Welcome to your weekly buzz. Presented by Speaking Unity. Here's what's happening this week on the buzz. Sex education is extremely important for young people as they go through puberty and start experimenting with their sexuality. But talking to parents about sexuality can be awkward and talking to other adults about it is just as awkward or deemed inappropriate. And if you think about getting advice from your friends, forget it. They probably won't give you accurate advice because they're likely in the same boat. Today we are constantly bombarded with information, making it difficult to get the facts. So how can people get positive and factual sex education? Try Netflix. Netflix's original series, Sex Education, is the perfect blend of actual sex education and a raunchy British teenage dramedy. The show's creator, Lori Nunn, explains it doesn't matter whether you're in your 40s or 16. If you fall in love, you're still going to act like a teenager. Sex education gives you a sense of acceptance because you've likely gone through or will go through similar situations. In many ways, sex education feels like an homage to The Breakfast Club and every other coming-of-age film. And just like those movies, people can watch the series and see themselves in any one of the characters. Even if you personally don't need sex advice, this is a series that is definitely worth binge-watching. Here's what's happening this week on The Buzz! Every decade has a show that captures everyone's attention. This decade belonged to HBO's Game of Thrones. Based on G.R.R. Martin's best-selling and unfinished book series, A Song of Ice and Fire, Game of Thrones is about the kingdoms of Westeros, which are all warring for the ultimate prize, the Iron Throne. Featuring political intrigue, sex, dragons, and copious amounts of bloodletting, the show has a stranglehold on TV with record-breaking viewership for HBO. But like any pop culture phenomenon, not all of the success comes from the show alone. Game of Thrones had the benefit of being born in the age of social media, giving the world the ability to spread the show beyond HBO's boundaries with reaction videos, memes, hashtags, fan sites, and YouTube channels. But HBO isn't ready to let go of the Westeros mythology just yet. The network is already prepping a prequel series, hoping to ride Khaleesi's dragons as long as possible. Even though franchises like Star Wars and Fantastic Beasts have demonstrated that prequels aren't always the best idea, we're hopeful that HBO can prove otherwise. Here's what's happening this week on The Buzz! Nostalgia is a powerful emotion. It can influence everything, even the shows we watch. Netflix's Stranger Things is one show that has used nostalgia to propel itself to the top. Stranger Things follows a group of kids in the 1980s as they come in contact with, and sometimes battle, otherworldly monsters, conspiracies, and secret agencies in small town USA. The show is best described as sci-fi horror TV. Both of those genres are niche markets, yet somehow Stranger Things has become a cultural zeitgeist. It has great production value, phenomenal acting, character arcs, and an interesting story. But the real attraction is the nostalgia. The show's creators, Matt and Ross Duffer, also known as the Duffer Brothers, are children of the 80s. They created Stranger Things as an in-your-face homage to 80s pop culture. The soundtrack, the score, and storytelling are all reminiscent of Steven Spielberg, John Carpenter, Stephen King, and George Lucas. Like the Duffers, today's adult television audience grew up in the 80s and enjoys a trip down memory lane. Sure, their lives may not have had a supernatural demogorgon, but the hairstyles alone bring back fond memories. The show also benefits from its lead roles being kids, which attracts a younger audience not because nostalgia, but because they see themselves in the characters. Stranger Things is a show that would have been mediocre at best on network TV, but due to Netflix's large production budget, it has become one of the best new shows on television. Its third season premieres this summer, and if it is anything like the last two, it will be the talk of both worlds, the right side up and the upside down. And that's your weekly buzz. Get more fresh buzz at speakinghuman.com forward slash buzz.